Hi guys, welcome to Spirit Style Show. So today I thought we would go in a bit more in depth about the Skywalker Saga, the new Lego game that's coming out, and I just thought we'd go through all the characters we have confirmed so far, as well as a few speculations, as well as a few really exciting surprises that have been announced over the past couple of days. Nothing else to say, let's just get into this. Punch it. So yeah, as I said, this is just going to be a video breaking down every character we have confirmed for the game so far, as well as the, all the additional add-ons we're going to get for the game, such as DLCs, and of course, as well, all the different versions of the games that we're going to have released nearer the time. So as it stands, it has been confirmed that so far it's going to be a 500 character roster. Now, if anyone saw my video the other day, the, the trailer reaction, I was completely out with the figures and I hold my hands up to that 500 characters is just an amazing an amount that we're just going to be getting and it was stated that at least 250 characters out of the 500 are going to be playable that we know of so far that's come from the developers themselves so if we obviously start off with the e -feed trailer that we got through in 2019 last year the very first one start from the top of the list we do have Qui-Gon Jinn Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Maul without the hood, Bespin Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Scavenger Ray, Kylo Ren, and this is Kylo from The Force Awakens with the helmet, R2-D2, BB-8, and Dio. Now, as we move on from there, more characters from the E3 event were shown from interactive boards, and the characters on them included Mace Windu, Anakin Skywalker from Episode 3 with the cape, Ben Kenobi, Endor Leia, Force Awakens Kylo with the helmet, Rise of Skywalker, Poe Dameron, Jango Fett, Sheev Palpatine from Revenge of the Sith with red robes, Farm Boy Luke, A New Hope Han Solo, Chewbacca, Yoda, and The Force Awakens Finn. Now at this time, a few other images were released from E319 and they also revealed a Jawa, a Rodian Pedestrian, Bubba Fett, Scout Trooper, Wicket, C-3PO, Skiff Guard Lando, Hoff Leia, Rebel Soldier, a Rebel Pilot, a different designed Rebel Soldier, as well as Hoff Han Solo with the hood up. Now, as we move on to the second trailer that we got into late 2019, these included another 10 characters to add to the list, and they were Hooded Darth Maul, a Droidica, a New Hope Princess Leia, Empire Strikes Back Lando Calrissian, Empire Strikes Back Han Solo just before he goes into Carbonite, Return of the Jedi Throne Room Luke Skywalker, Skiff Guard from Jabba's Sail Barge, The Last Jedi Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi in his outfit without the helmet, and Rey from The Rise of Skywalker with a blue lightsaber. Now on May the 4th this year, we got more characters confirmed with the box art released for this game. And bearing in mind, we are up to 45 so far. Now these included Geonosis Battle Droid, Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi, Geonosis C-3PO, Phase 1 Red Clone Trooper Captain, a standard Phase 1 Clone Trooper, a Rise of Skywalker Finn, Rey with the yellow lightsaber, and Chewbacca with the medal from the Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker, Kylo Ren, this time with the red markings on the mask. Empire Strikes Back, Han Solo, but with his hood down, as well as a snow trooper from Hoff on the Empire Strikes Back. Now, the recently confirmed Lego sets as well revealed that there will be even more additional characters to add into the list, which you'll be able to play as due to the boxes all saying it play it and some of the characters included some pleasantly surprising additions. Now bear in mind we're up to 56 so far on this list so as of 57 onwards they included X-Wing Pilot Luke, General Fears in the Battle Armour, AT-AT Driver, Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan without robes, 212th Paratrooper, General Grievous, two different types of Knights of Ren, an AAT pilot battle droid, Ahsoka Tano from Season 7, The Clone Wars, 332nd Clone Trooper with Ahsoka's markings, Revenge of the Sith pilot Anakin, the 501st Clone Trooper, 
the 501st Jump Trooper, as well as a regular B1 Battle Droid. Now, if we move on from there, four more additional LEGO sets have been revealed to have codes on them, which included the Razor Crest from the Mandalorian and the Resistant Transport set. But these codes only seem to be for the ships, sadly, to be playable in the game at this time. But we will come back to this a little while later in the video. The additional two characters that are confirmed include from the Advent Calendar set and the Death Star Final Juice set. And the two characters are Emperor Palpatine from Return of the Jedi, as well as a holiday-themed gonk droid, which is an unusual condition, but, you know, it's, it's an extra character. Now, an additional eight characters were also confirmed by the lead developer, James McGoughlin, in an interview at E3 last year. And bear in mind, we're up to 73 so far. So from there onwards, these included Queen Amidala, Jar Jar Binks, Standard Gonk Droid, a Tuscan Raider, Captain Phasma, Admiral Akbar, Zoris Bliss, as well as Jedi Master Yaddle from Episode 1, which is a nice surprise again as well. And once again, I apologise if anyone saw my reaction video, I just labelled that as Yoda's a wig, did not clock on at all. But I digress, let's carry on. Now, as for other characters, includes the images that were released at GameCon a few days ago as well as the official gameplay trailer we recently just got, which I reacted to. And this gives us speculation of a few additional characters to add to the list now. And bear in mind, we're up to 81 so far. Now, these characters include Attack of the Clones, Anakin Skywalker, General Class Stormtrooper from A New Hope, A New Hope Princess Leia, The Phantom Menace, Young Anakin, Geonosis Padme, Dagobah Training Luke from The Empire Strikes Back, Endor Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi, The Force Awakens General Leia Organa, The First Order Officer, General Lando Calrissian from Return of the Jedi, Greedo from A New Hope, 10 characters to add to the list. Potentially a Porg might be a playable character, I think it might be a bit of a pointless one, but a lot of people like Porgs, as well as Count Dooku. And that takes us up to 94 characters potentially confirmed for this game so far, with so many more yet to be announced. Considering we are looking at a roster of 500 characters, the imagination really can run wild with this, especially as the developers stated that every character you can think of will be in this game. Now, as I did say earlier in the video, in regards to The Mandalorian, there have been a few rumours flying around about potential DLCs that will be coming to this game. There has been an official description of the game announced and it does go over the additional DLCs that will be available with the deluxe edition of the game if you do choose to buy this. Some of the six DLCs confirmed include a Mandalorian DLC, a Rogue One DLC, which will have some great characters in that, a solo Star Wars story DLC, as well as unusually surprising one the bad batch dlc as well as a few more now the bad batch one really is a surprising one but i suppose if we're getting the show relatively not too far away it's it's sort of going to maybe come in time with the game so it does make sense now if you do decide to buy the deluxe edition of the game it will also include a collectible minifigure of luke skywalker with blue milk now I personally do like the idea of getting this one myself, but there's a few others that sort of pique my interest. We'll get into them in a minute. Now, as for the remaining two DLCs, it is up to anyone's guess. I have seen rumours of a Clone Wars storyline DLC, which would be essentially following on following Season 7, which, you know, I think would be an amazing one. And I think the other big one that is sort of rumoured, and I think we could maybe sort of pin it down to one of the last remaining DLCs not confirmed, and that's going to be Rebels. And that would literally bring everything into this game, just as the developers said at the beginning, that every character you could think of will be in this. Now, as for other editions of the game, as I stated a minute ago, that have been announced as well, as the standard and the deluxe edition, um... We, there is going to be a limited edition steelbook variant, which will be Han Solo in carbonite Lego form, which I have to say does look amazing for this. As well as Warner Brothers website are currently offering a pre-order of the game, which will come with a free Lego Darth Vader keyring, which looks very nice as well, I have to say. 
So yeah, that has been the breakdown of all the carrots we have had announced so far, all 94 of them, uh, or at least we can speculate um, so far, and the DLCs confirmed, and the different editions of the games that we can expect. The hype for this is just shooting up day by day. Now, I'm personally so excited for this. Now, sadly, the release is not until spring 2021, but I'm sure by then we will have a lot more information on characters, which will personally for me additions i would like to see would include kit fisto kiadi mundi shakti captain rex and commander cody i would love to see the whole rebels gang in this which i think we will at some point as well as a few others for me such as asajj ventress i don't think that's out the realms of possibility i bosk and maybe even a few other characters, such as Revan and maybe Mara Jade, which once again, going by the developer's statement, saying every character you could think of will be in this, and the fact we are going to be trying to build up to 500 characters with at least 250 playable, I don't think it's out the realms of possibility. So yeah, guys, that has been the breakdown of all the DLCs we've had confirmed, all the characters we've had confirmed, or we can at least speculate based on all the trailers that we've had. Like I say, at least 250 characters playable, but with a 500 character roster, this is going to be one hell of a game. Now, also as well, from what I've read, um, there's going to be countless ships spanning from all nine films, as once again, as well as the DLCs, we've already had the Razor Crest confirmed, the Mandalorian that's going to be... A playable ship if you do decide to buy the lego set you will get that code inside it as well as the resistance transport you know this game has just got so much hype going on for it now and i i'm personally so so excited for this i mean I love all the Lego games, like I said in the previous video in general, but this game has got so much going for it now. And I think if you're just a fan of the prequels, the fan of the original, you're a fan of the sequels, um, you know, even if you're just a fan of the general TV series, Mandalorian, Clone Wars, Rebels, there's going to be something there for you. I mean, you could even be, be in the, the realms of possibility of bringing in stuff like Knight, um, Knights of the Old Republic. You could be bringing in stuff like the Resistance. I'm not a big fan of the Resistance. Or, you know... Even even realms of possibility, you know, forces of destiny. There's just too much, too much that they could release in this game. And it's going to be so exciting as the weeks unfold nearer to the time what we're actually going to be getting into this. But yeah, that has been my breakdown of all of that. I hope you really have loved this pro this episode. If you have, please leave a comment down below which character you would like to see or which character you think maybe shouldn't be included even. Um, don't forget to tick that notification bell up in the top corner so you'll be notified for all our latest videos. Please give us a like if you think we deserved it. Please give us a subscribe if you really like our videos or you think they're, they're all right. Um, but other than that, guys, have a superior day.